All right, here's a little walk around where we're getting started at. Still gotta get all the panels and stuff back on and all the lines and stuff hooked up. It's all gonna be in time-lapse form. Um, it's gonna be a little easier that way. You guys seen how it came apart for the most part. So I'm just gonna set the camera on a tripod a little bit away and do this on a time-lapse. It's now 2.30 in the morning. I got it all back together. Got the foot pedal clutch adjusted out how it's supposed to. But now, it doesn't want to pull itself at all. So, doing a little research and stuff, it's got a secondary clutch, a direct drive clutch. And apparently, if, it, if the pressures aren't right with hydraulics, if it's weak or anything like that, the uh, secondary clutch isn't gonna pull itself. It, it's all hydraulically driven. Your it goes through your PT or your steering, then your PTO, and then to your final direct drive clutch or however you want to call it. So what I'm gonna do now is determine if I'm getting the right pressures in the right spots. I gotta get it tore apart. It's behind this panel here. There's different test ports. I'm gonna hook up hydraulic gauges and see if I'm getting pressures and see what's going on. So we can figure out what's going on. I don't think it's a bad clutch. It slips a little bit. It doesn't want to pull itself, but I, I see it being a piece of dirt or debris, an issue with it not making enough pressure, basically. So we'll see what happens. We're uh, finishing up the tractor, and what happened last night, we, let, we got out of here about 2.30 in the morning, or we got done with the tractor at least by then and it didn't want to move itself it just acted like the clutch was slipping and everything else i unhooked the linkage had it dead to where it was had no pressure on the clutch at all and i started running through a series of tests well to see what's going on with it you put it in fourth gear hold your foot on the brake let out of the clutch which it's adjusted where it should be now two and a half inches of free travel <clears throat> but uh you engage your pto and you see if it spins in fourth gear with your foot out on the clutch in all the positions well it was so back to the drawing board I had to do a little research on it because I'm not as familiar with this tractor as some of the other ones and it's actually got a another set of clutches inside the transmission that is a uh, oh basically a wet set of clutches it works like a torque converter we'll come to find out what happens is you have to have hydraulic fluid to your power steering first, and then the hydraulic fluid goes to your PTO, which is this lever right here. This is your on off for your PTO. And then after that, it goes to your selectors for high and low range or neutral. Well, apparently it had a big airlock in it from getting split in the tractor. Oh, I spent four hours last night trying to figure out what was wrong with it. Well, I finally did. It makes me feel like an idiot, but it is what it is but I figured it out and it works just fine now so I gotta finish cleaning stuff up and get it all buttoned back up and top off the fluids and stuff and it'll be good I had to go get more hydraulic fluid too but it's uh it's done now so what I found out was wrong with it was it just had air in the hydraulic system it had an airlock and wasn't letting the pressure be right to that clutch but uh, once I got the air worked out of the system, it works just fine now. They've uh, come and got it. I'm sorry for not having all the footage, but it was kind of chaotic last night. We got it all lined out, and it's good to go. Thanks for watching.